This is our slogan for the manifesto, which we are going to distribute to all households from this afternoon. From today and tomorrow, we will distribute our manifesto to all households. Uh, but unlike some other places, we are giving out our manifesto door to door. We are not going to slip it into, into their, their boxes. Uh, we, will slip, uh, we will give it to every household door to door and if possible, hand to hand. Okay? So this is our slogan. Together, we will beat with one heart, serve with two hands, and benefit three generations in Potong Pasir. What are my plans for Potong Pasir? My focus is simple. I will be providing things that the residents need or have always wanted. There's nothing extravagant, nothing expensive. Uh, if you see later, uh, what we have uh, planned are things that residents have always given us feedback on. I'd like to emphasize that the plans which we are going to give out here are not my plans. They are not even my team's plans. They are plans that over the last 10 years of my service here, based on feedback from the residents, we have, um, uh, we have done all these plans based on the feedback they have given us. These are things that they hope to see. These are things that they want to see. These are essential items. In other words, what this means is that if we get the mandate from the residents, we can implement this on 8th of May. We are, ready, we are ready to roll out. And for us, the key is that we want to do all these things in speed. Speed is of the essence here. Okay? Now, uh, we want to engage our senior citizens to stay physically, mentally and socially healthy. We will have an active ageing centre where our senior citizens can uh, have the right food, exercise, stay active. Uh, why are we so concerned about senior citizens here? This is a matured estate. If you look at the numbers, uh, more than half of the residents here are more than 50 years old, more than half. Uh, more than 20, uh, more than 25 percent are more than 60 years old. And uh, for those that are more than 80 years old, 80 years old, uh, there's about 600 senior citizens here. So the senior citizens segment is something that we pay a lot of attention to. It's something that uh, uh, we want to do. We want to provide quality and affordable elder care services to the elderly. We will have an elderly care centre also. Okay? What does it do? It engages the elderly in social interactive activities while their family members are at work. We will provide assistance for the needy. Uh, these are the few programmes that uh, we have come up with. Some of them are already in, the, in existence. The Comcare is already in existence. The Bread and Butter Fund is also already in existence. The School Textbook Fund as well. So these are some of the programs that we, we, uh, we want to implement and roll out quickly to help the needy families in Potong Pasir. In case you're wondering what is the uh, Student Allowance Fund, there are, there are cases where we have come across students who, uh, who doesn't have money when they go to school. So we would uh, help to supplement their, their allowances uh, when they go to school. Uh, if you look at the health care assistance scheme, uh, it is important that our senior citizens stay healthy and fit. I think in the last two months, we have organized no less than uh, five health care screening uh, sessions in Potong Pasir, as well as those that need social welfare services. Uh, we will also have public education and awareness programs. We want to encourage and recognize uh, academic and sports excellence. This is something I'm very passionate about. Uh, we want to help and reward Potong Pasir students uh, who need help and who do well in their studies and also in sports activities. You may recall that uh, I think three months ago, or maybe more than that, sorry, about four or five months ago, I went personally house to house to about 300 households in Potong Pasir to personally deliver the EduSafe Scholarship and Bursary Fund. Uh, uh, because it's something I, I feel strongly about. I want to encourage our kids here to do well. We recognize uh, those uh, who perform well. We will give them our own scholarship in addition to uh, what the government is dishing out. Monetary awards for those who do well in sports and bursaries for our needy students. We also want to have quality child care uh, for our kids here. I think this is something for young parents because uh, when you are middle age or, or when you are a young parent, on your right hand side are your kids, on your left hand side are your parents. Uh, we will try to, to uh, facilitate and help in whatever way we can. So we want to have uh, child care centres for their children as well. 
Uh, tuition and enrichment classes. I think this is very important because if you look at it, uh, tuition nowadays is not cheap. Eh? Uh, even for primary schools, uh, I think many tutors charge on a per hour basis and it can go up to as high as $50 per hour. $50 per hour. Now what we want to do is that uh, we have been in discussions with various service providers. We will facilitate that. We will do tuition for our kids, for Potong Pasir kids. And it will be affordable, it will be convenient, and it will be of good quality. We want to provide a conducive environment for learning and for growth. So we will have a student care centre where we will help parents to look after their school-going children while they are at work. Actually, some of the, uh, many of the things that I have mentioned is available in all the pictures here. Okay, we will inculcate time management and organizational skills in every children to develop independence. We want to have a platform to engage our youth as well. And in that, in that respect, we will have youth centre uh, to create a sense of community spirit and belonging. You may want to know that uh, some of our y YEC, Youth Executive com uh, Committee kids are actually very involved in the Chinge procession and uh, things like that. Okay, those are the hardware programs which if you have questions, you can ask me later on. Now I want to go on to the hardware. All right? Now, as I've said, these are not my plans. These are based on feedback from the residents. Uh, these are very basic, essential amenities and facilities which over the last 10 years, uh, residents have told me that they wanted to see. Uh, pavilions. Uh, actually, if you come here, which I do, at about 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. or 7 a.m. in the morning, you will see big groups of qi gong, uh, uh, people doing their morning exercises. Uh, in Champaka Avenue, in uh, Senate Estate, there's also another big group. There are, I think, about easily about six groups of uh, uh, senior citizens and middle-aged people doing exercises in the morning in Potong Pasir. So what we want to do is that we want to have pavilion, for, for example, where, whether it's, it's raining or whatever, they can carry on to do their, their, their exercises. All right? Uh, outdoor seating corner. Why is this important? Let me give you a live example. I think about two months ago, I was uh, doing my rounds in the estate. There was a 70-year-old couple who was standing uh, by the side of the road under hot sun at about 12 noon. I asked them why are they standing here under the hot sun. And it's something that you and I don't realise because we are not at that stage of our lives. But if you are 70 years old, you cannot walk 300 metres or 200 metres in one, in one breath. You have to sit down and rest and then, you know, and walk again. And worse still, you, 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 you can't squat down because if you squat down, you know, for you to get up, it, it's, it's not so easy. So what we want to do is that we want to have outdoor seating areas, sheltered, for, for our old folks here. So that, you know, they can have a leisurely walk, they can have places to rest, take shelter, so on and so forth. Uh, this is the covered entrance to connect the various blocks to the uh, community club, to the town centre, so on and so forth. Now, covered lingways, I have to admit, there are already covered lingways in Potong Pase. But what we want to do is that we want to complete the circuit. Alright, we want to complete the circuit by having covered lingways to connect the 48 blocks in Potong Pase as well as the 14 blocks in Lorong 8 Topayo. Barbecue pits. Uh, there have been requests from residents uh, from time to time to have leisurely amenities and facilities. Uh, we are very blessed in Potong Pase because the Kalang River runs through us so there can be barbecue pits uh, facing the Kalang River. Covered uh, car porch as well that will connect to the covered lingways as well. Children's playground. Now, there are children's playground in uh, Potong Pase, including Senna Estate. Uh, but what we want to do is that we want to revitalize, rejuvenate the children's playground within the estate, whether it's Senna Estate or Potong Pase or Lorong 8. And we want to have more. All right? Landscaping is important. Uh, there have also been requests from Senate Estate residents to have better landscaping, better drainage, better back lanes, better lights in their estate, and we will do that. Uh, ramps, barrier-free access ramps are important to us uh, because, as I said, more than 50% of the residents here are more than 50 years old, and we want to cater uh, to their needs. 
uh, as I told you, 80 years old, there is uh, 600, 600 Raja. Yeah. Residence corner is very important because every time I walk around, everybody, whether young, middle-aged or old, asks for residence corner at the void decks. Uh, if you walk around Potong Pase in the afternoons on weekdays, there are many senior citizens gathering at the void decks. And one, what they want is very simple citizens' corner where they can drink a cup of tea, uh, where they can chat, so on and so forth. All right, we will have that as well. Fitness corners, uh, our fitness corners are meant to benefit three generations. Okay, we will have it across the estate, including in Senate Estate. Uh, there have been requests to have an indoor gym in Potong Pase. I think it is possible. We can do it at our community club. Ah, I'm going to show you three of the very urgent and critical needs in Potong Pase. Okay, in the next three slides. First, Potong Pase is very short on car parking space. Uh, we are in discussions with the HTB on this. I think it is a problem that we have to solve uh, very quickly. I have surveyed the estate, and I think the solution to that is that we have to open more car park lots. And it is possible to open more car park lots. We have identified the spaces. That's number one. Secondly, brighter corridor lightings. I think some of you may have followed me to my block visits uh, two weeks ago. Uh, in some of the blocks, it's really very dark. And in one of my block visits, I actually saw a couple coming back, and uh, they were struggling to put their key into the keyhole because it was, it was really very dark and, and, and I, I think they took at least about one and a half minutes to, to, to do that. So what we want to do is that we want to brighten up the uh, lightings along the corridors of the HDB flats. Uh, lift upgrading. All right, I think you probably know about this. This is something that is critical, uh, paramount to us uh, because again, you know, there are a lot of old folks here. We want to uh, complete the leaf upgrading program as soon as possible to ease the burden on our senior citizens. Okay, what is this about? If you go to Lorong 8 Topayo, uh, if you go to Lorong 8 Topayo, there is a, a big drain. You can call it a drain, you can call it a canal that cuts across Lorong 8 Topayo. We have been in discussion with the authorities and uh, they have told us it can be done, it is possible. What we want to do is that we want to cover up the, the whole canal and build a park on top of it. Build a multi-generation activity park at Lorone Topayo. And this is what uh, it will look like. Similarly, for Potong Pase Estate, uh, we want to develop what we call the Kalang River Promenade where both sides of the Kalang River will be developed so that we will have various activities and facilities there, including playground, uh, fitness corners, senior citizens' corners, shelters, so on and so forth. And because of the completion of the marina barrage, the water level at Kalang River can actually be uh, controlled and we can have sea spots along the Kalang River, right in the heart of Potong Pasi. Okay? And... This is what I have to say. I am committed to serving the residents of Potong Pase since 2000. As you know, I have been here for more than 10 years since 2000. Uh, these are some of the pictures that we have taken for our activities. Okay.